Hello dear viewers, welcome back to Forilla. Today in this video, let's talk about the skill zone which was introduced inside the recruitment module of Forilla. So let's take a look at the recruitment and here we have the skill zone. Open that. And this place can be used to create separate skill zones for each of the candidates. So there is a skill which is called designer and under the skill zone, a candidate has been added. Okay, so the reason which is given is better design knowledge. Okay. Similarly, you can add candidates for this particular skill zone. So from here, you can create a skill zone. So here I'm giving the skill as marketing. Okay. And the description I'm giving it as this marketing skills. Okay. And the company and all is given there and I'm saving it. Okay. So currently a new skill that is marketing has been added here. So from here, by using this button, you can add candidates towards the skill zone. You can edit it, archive it and even delete it. So I'm going to add a candidate to this marketing. Multiple candidates can be added. Okay, so let's add Maria to marketing. And the reason I'm giving it as she has good marketing skill or good communication. Okay, so due to that reason, I'm adding this person to the marketing skill. So if you expand it, you can see Maria has been added to this. So the reason is also given there. So when a, a, when a situation comes where we need a person who knows to do the marketing, we can use this particular candidate for that situation. So let me show you how to edit it. So click on this and the filled up form will come. So if you have any further edits, you can do the corrections here and save it. Okay. Also, you can archive it. So you can see skill zone updated successfully. So if you want to archive it, what you have to do is click on archive here. So the confirmation message will come. So you can either cancel it or confirm it. So I'm just canceling it. And here you have the option to delete it. So click on that and this will help you to remove the skill zone. So you can either cancel it or confirm it. So this is where how the skill zone works and how you can manage skill zone alone. So that's why Horilla have given a menu which is called skill zone. So from here, you can create it as well as you have the option to filter it based on candidates. Now, if you go to the recruitment pipeline, you can see different things where you can add two skills on that is in recruitments under each recruitment, you have different candidates, right? So corresponding to each candidate, we have different icons here. So this icon is basically used to add this particular candidate to the skill zone. So this is Jane. I'm clicking on two skill zone. So I'm adding the reason. So she has skill. So the skill zone can be chosen from you. So I'm adding this person to marketing and save. So a single person can be added to multiple skills. So you can see candidate added to skill zone successfully. Now, if you go to the skill zone and take a look, you can see under marketing, you have Jane as well as Maria. Two people have been added under the um, skill zone, which is called marketing. So this is how you can easily create a skill zone and add candidates towards the skill zone so you can add it in two ways one is directly adding it from the skill zone creation area itself so here we have the add candidate one is through the recruitment pipeline so corresponding to each candidate you have the option to add towards the skill zone so from there also you can add this candidate to the skill zone so it's that simple so that's how you can easily manage the skill zone in Horilla. i hope it's clear for you guys thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video